Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of the Mega Modded Gungeon. We are back again and we are going to jump in at some other characters. We've got the Scout here. Uh, we played as this... Ooh, what the... Wait a minute. Where's all my custom characters gone? Use me? Um... Hmm... Anyways, we're going to play a scout, I guess, now. Um, basically, there was an issue with the custom character mod, and it um, it caused some it caused some issues where... Do you remember the last episode where I had that massive leg spike that my game for us? That also happened for Alexa, too, and we think it's to do with the custom character mod, so we're waiting for an update on that. One second. Okay, I was just checking to make sure the mod is enabled. Yeah, I downgraded it to a previous patch at the um, request of Nevername to see if that would fix it. Unfortunately, that's not, but we do get to play a scout, um, so we will try this guy out and we'll steal some free stuff here. Get the auto shotgun. Oh, how I love that gun. And we got the JK as well. JK I probably won't be using so much, but goddamn, I tell you what, I will be using the auto shotgun. But I think as the scout here, we start with some extra speed and we also start with um, another shotgun, the, the scatter gun, is it called? I can't remember. I haven't played TF2 in quite some time. Scout was always... A class that I, I really loved, but I was never good at. I tried it. I tried it all the time. Here it is, the um, the good old scatter gun. Um, I wonder how good it is in this. Okay, it's pretty good. Uh, it's, it's very good. Wow. Um, yeah. Um, scout was always a character that I just wasn't ever like super good at. I think it's just because like, it requires like really good knowledge of movement around the maps and I never really had that um but on top of that uh let's open this up and see what we get the sculptor's chisel I'm pretty sure that's the one that turns flip tables into decoys yes very very good early on um so make sure to flip tables when we can here um yeah it was one of those ones that I never really um there you go look super cool idea I really really like the theming on it Right, flip a bunch of tables here. Been able to distract all of those guys by creating a few decoys. Rather nice. We'll save our auto shot for the boss. This thing is doing more than good enough right now. Um, hello again. Uh, yeah, I gotta say I was never really um, amazing at like moving around the maps and stuff. And then as well, like it it sort of takes fine movement and aiming, which I think I'm decent at, but. I don't know. I, for me, um, playing as soldier was always the best. I I love the rocket launcher and I love like rocket jumping and stuff. That was arguably more fine a movement in some regards, but I really enjoyed it. TF2 is just an absolutely banging game. I really, really wish. I know it doesn't. It doesn't strictly need it. I'll be honest. Um, the Holy Ghost. Ooh, interesting. We've also got the revolver, whisper, a bottle, and the napalm strike. I'm, I'm probably just gonna buy a key because we've got an additional chest on the floor. Uh, but the Holy Ghost is an interesting one, but it's a, a little bit pricey for us. Um, yeah, like although it doesn't exactly need it, it, it would be interesting to see TF2 get a get like a, a remaster and a remake because I really like it and I do go back to it every few months. But it's one of those games that. The controls and the feel of the game just feels very of its time, which isn't particularly a bad thing if you like that feel, but like, I know it's not the, the best comparison ever, and it's a comparison that people make often, but like, going and playing like Overwatch, for example, I, I, I've played quite a lot of Overwatch, I, generally I think that TF2 is better, um... But I, Overwatch does have um, a lot going for it, and the smoothness of its controls and gameplay is definitely one uh, one of those things. Um, and it would be nice to see that smoothness sort of come into play in um, in Team Fortress 2 as well. It would be it would be pretty awesome, really, to see that. Do I want to grab the Holy Ghost? I've actually got more money than I thought I'd have here, so I'm very tempted by it. This thing's so ammo efficient as well; it's crazy. Um, yeah, let's grab it. Let's grab it. See what it does. A holy ghost. Enemies have a chance to be reanimated re re as hollow points. Okay, that's pretty damn good, actually. That's pretty damn good. Right. Get out the auto shotty. This thing. I'm not sure if it'll slap more than the scatter gun. I would honestly hope so. This thing does have quite a long reload, to be fair, so that could hold it back. Let's, let's switch to the scatter gun and see how it does. Oh, 
I think the scatter gun's actually better. It's hard to tell, really. Nah, 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 nah. The auto shot E is better. The auto shot E is better. It's it's close. It's close, but I think the auto shot E is better. And then we also get this here as well, which is the well gun, which I remember being really good as well, actually. The as well gun. Good, good, good. Right. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Okie dokie. But yeah, I've probably got about five, six hundred hours in Team Fortress. I, it used to be one of my go-to games for a long time. I used to play it a lot. Um, so much so that um, for my birthday one year, my friend bought me an unusual hat off the marketplace. <laughs> so for Soldier, I have... Um, I have... I can't remember the name of the hat now. It's the one that makes you look like an explorer. This thing has such tiny bullets. Um, yeah, it's like an explorer's hat. Um, and I've got the rainstorm version of it. It's got a little rain cloud hovering above you. It's really cool. I like it. This gun did get nerfed, I think, after I said it was overpowered. Or after I enjoyed it being overpowered. So, we'll see. Eh, for God's sake. Enemies spawning in on you. I really hope that issue gets fixed sooner or later. Super depressing to um, take damage from that bullshit. Ooh, that is a mimic. Unfortunately, it's a mimic in actually a really hard to kill spot, to be honest. Um, it's actually a really, really unfortunate mimic, especially for um, controller, because the aim assist is going to go wacky and try and predict where it's moving and miss a bunch of shots. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And we got ourselves... Oh, pickled pepper! What a great item. This item is awesome. Uh, works really well with the imp's horn as well. Uh, poisons enemies who come too close. Um... Oh wait, no, this isn't the one that I thought it is. Still a good, uh, it, it's still a really, really good item, but it's not the one I thought it is. Um, it's basically just the Gungeon Pepper, but a poison version. I thought it was the one that spawned little tiny peppers when you killed things. But it's still really good though. Right. Hey, get a few hollow points in there. Honestly, the hollow points are really, really good if you can get a few of them stacked up. Really, really good indeed. Okay, take care of these guys. You've been taken care of. Awesome. Oh, I tell you something we should do, and I know this is a little bit cheaty, but one second, one second. Okay, I'm going to test something after this floor. Um. And see if it works. A love potion. Kind of weird that it's the same color. It just looks like an empty bottle because it's the same color as the table. That's pretty funny. I was like, uh, okay. Love potion. It's got nothing in it, but... <laughs> and then I was like, oh wait. It does have something in it. It's just the exact same color as... Or very... It was not the exact. It was very close to the same color as the tablecloth. That's kind of funny. Alright, good, good. I'm hoping I can gather a bit more money here and get some keys. Um... But I want to do a little bit, something a little bit cheaty, but it's to test something that I should have tested prior to coming to this floor, but I didn't. And it's because of me being a stupid. Uh, let's use the auto shot for a bit as well here. This The auto shot is a really fun weapon in this game and something that I really enjoy because it's a weapon that I really enjoy in first person shooters. This is a weapon that, that like, I always... Um, I'm gravitated towards. It's the uh, AA-12, I believe. It's, it's very similar to the AA-12 if it's not the AA-12. But in like Battlefield, Call of Duty, it's always a shotgun that I really love using. What the hell kind of shot was that? The only problem with it is it does have a ridiculously long reload. Uh, but honestly, it's kind of understandable considering the power that it provides. Wow, I just, I just accepted my fate there, didn't I? At least we've got some hour back for it. Dude, can this fucking hollow point hit me? Are you... Are you kidding? They can hit me. Great. I didn't know they could hit me. That's that's a bit bollocks. A little bit upset about that, I've got to admit. I did not think they could hit me. We also get the vacuum gun. Vacuum gun, I like it. It's a little bit T-1000 
tedious to use sometimes, but it's a fun one. Right, let's fight the boss. I think we're still going to sit with the auto shot here. It's probably a weapon that you want to be doing the drop reload on, to be honest. Also, another good thing about this over the scatter gun is it has far, far, far better range. The scatter gun actually has really short range. Can this poison bugger off, please? Fire's doing a good job here. Keeping her at that top wall is such a good strategy. We got our health back. We also got another table tech. Table tech slide. Don't know what that was. Don't recognize it at least. Um, it just says crash. <laughs> we crash. Call it a D. So I'm guessing it does something when we slide across tables. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Not what I was expecting at all. Right, one second, let me pause. Okay, we're back. This is what I meant to do. I completely forgot. I'm pretty sure there's some changes to the jungle floor uh, with the most recent patch to expand the Gungeon, and I want to check them out. I don't know this for sure. I'll be honest, I'm not using the GitHub version he sent me. I'm using the newly updated Thunderstore version, so we'll see but it matched the version in the GitHub one that he sent me. It was 2.8.1, I believe. Or 2.81, I can't remember. Either way, let's see. There should be a new chest, and the boss should be weaker. Well, we will see if that is the case. I'm interested, because, yeah, this floor... I've been watching uh, Alexa's series, and it's not, really a, it's not really something I've thought about much before, but honestly, this floor is tough. This floor is really tough, especially the boss. The boss is pretty brutal. The fact that it has fire, it has pits, it has summons, um, it has poison attacks, it has explosive attacks. The boss is pretty nuts. Like, you got to remember that when you normally fight that, you have the robot's right hand. So if you don't get a good weapon on your first few floors, that boss can suck to fight. So we did a few things to make it a little bit weaker. I say we. I suggested a few things to make it a bit weaker, and the man that actually makes the mod um, implemented them, Apache, the good lad. Um, the suggestions were to reduce the boss's overall HP and stop it from summoning difficult enemies, basically. I think now it summons Rubberkin, the Electric Rubberkin, and Arrowkin, and that's it. So it shouldn't be anywhere near as uh, difficult. Although the Rubberkin could, pre could pre uh, present a difficult issue with the pit spin in the room, but we'll, uh, we'll sort of get used to that and see how that goes. They'll at least die a lot faster. Which, I kind of like the idea. Like, at first when he mentioned the Rubberkin to me, I was kind of like, eh, don't really understand the theming of the Rubberkin, but honestly, rubber is derived from trees, so kind of makes sense in a way, in a roundabout way. In a roundabout way. Right, so we got one chest room. It's a black chest as well. Awesome. We'll leave that for now. I see you. I love the music on this wall so much. Now we can go down. Stay out the way of those hollow point boys. They will deal with everything for me. Yeah, the arrow kit are a piece of piss. They're very, very, very easy. I love using the arrow kit on this floor. I think it's such a good idea. They're such a rare enemy normally, and they're pretty easy, so it's like, it's kind of a cool enemy to be able to spawn in large numbers. And it makes so much sense for them to, like, find arrowheads buried deep in the jungle sort of thing. I like that a lot. That was one of my one of my little little brain moments that I'm pretty proud of. It's not like a super hard conclusion to come to, to be honest. It's not like, 
oh my god, what a big brain play. You thought of that? No, but it, I, I am pretty happy with myself that I thought of some theming that works well. I like to pat myself on the back about this floor. I think it turned out well. Albeit a little difficult. But yeah, it's meant to be more difficult, but then again, it should have more rewards, so... We'll see if that's the case so far. It might not be, but I still want to come to the jungle anyways. I kind of forgot to come here. I was planning on it this episode. Okay, we got a cell creep here. That's rather nice. We also got a blindfold. Interesting. There's another chest room. Stop buffing. Scattergun here is doing pretty well so far. We got him poisoned from our pepper and then on fire from our horn. Extra key, lovely. Nice. Whip. Oh, that was way too far of a roll. I tried it. I made the attempt. Okay, nice. Ow. Um. Okay, we're good to go. Oh my god, I just keep falling into pits. Stop, you fool. There's a decoy. But it is looking like we have a third chest room here. It is indeed looking that way. There you go, three chest rooms. Fucking awesome. That's a pretty good one. Seven Leaf Clover is going to be good for the next few floors. We get ourselves the lightsaber here, which is decent, but not amazing. Um, and then I'm going to buy a key. <sighs> blindfold? Do I want to buy the blindfold? It seems like a bad idea, right? We also get the Crescendo Blaster. Let's just do it, why not? See what it does. Damaging non-boss gun dead has a chance to instantly kill them, exploding in a geyser of blood. Damn, that sounds cool. <laughs> I'm glad that I took that. Right, so let's see how the boss does now. Let's go with the, uh, the auto shotgun and see how this fares. God damn, still very, very difficult boss. I hope I don't die to this boss, that would be embarrassing. I do have quite a few blanks though, so... There's an arrowkin this time around, and there's a rubberkin. Much, much more suitable and normal. And I always forget the boss can also teleport. There's just so much with this boss that's crazy. This attack particularly is really tough. That's, that's one that's really, really rough. Ooh, okay, apparently the poison can also trigger that explosion from the blindfold. Which is not what I expected, but very, very good. Oh, there's parrots spawning. Okay, okay, that's not that's not correct. Okay, I'll I'll relate that to Apache. And the monkeys are still spawning too, okay. Okay, we got it. Okay, so everything's working fine, but the uh, the enemy spawnings are still not quite right. We've also got Hermatic Rounds here, which synergizes with 
blood beal on whatever that synergy was. Um, increased damage the more times the bearer takes damage, resets per room. Ah, not very good. But still, we are good to go. Awesome. Right. Let me quickly pause and relate the news to uh, Apache and the like, and we'll continue on. But Seven Leaf Clover is going to be fun this episode. It should be a good one. It should be a good one indeed. I'm looking forward to it. I like the little rain sounds, the little rain whispers we're getting here. Okay, one second. Okay, we are good. Let's carry on with this run. Um, let's use the Crescendo Blaster for a little bit. Oh, I think that all, um, all hollow points are automatically charmed. Which is pretty darn good. Yeah, so let, I just need to test a theory here. So if I get near this enemy, yeah, okay, okay, this is, this is potentially really overpowered. We can stand near enemies to insta-kill them. The poison can insta-kill. Um, let's go with a well gun here. I just need something that allows me to get close to enemies a bit easier without taking as much damage. Oh wait, I should really skip this floor because I've already done this floor technically. Um, load underscore level... Mines? Um, I forget the floor name. What the hell's the, the, the next floor's name? Let's have a look-see. Um, God damn, how do I forget this? Gungeon, enter the Gungeon, floors. Chambers. What the hell's it called? Gungeon proper black powder mines. That's the one. Okay, I just didn't type it right. Load, level, mines. Maybe that'll work? Yeah, it did work. Okay, good. Yeah, I just don't want to play the same floor again that we already played. I'm going to skip over it. I was going to cut this out, but nah. It's in now. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, it just skips us onto the actual correct floor. It's like I did the oubliette. Not the oubliette. The, the jungle on purpose, but just slightly out of order. So don't worry about it. But yeah, getting one extra floor of uh, black chests might be a little bit overpowered, so we'll skip over that. Also, it'd make the episode a tad bit long. Curse of the Hive. Is that the honey explosions? Yes, it is. And this insta-kill thing is very good. Seems to be triggering quite a lot. Bit of HP, that's good considering I'm losing so much of it recently. Good. We need to be standing near enemies as they spawn and try and insta kill them. What? I dodged rolled over it. Why is that even plausible? I really think you sh if, if you dodge roll over something you can land on, you should always land on it, regardless of how long your dodge roll is. Very annoying when that happens. Also, good shot, sir. I'm taking so much damage here. I'm going to actually have to buy some HP, I think. Buying HP is for the weak, but unfortunately I am weak. I was about to say, oh my god, another black chest, and then I realised, of course it's another black chest. A reloaded rifle. Multiple active reloads with different effects. Um, if the first active reload is performed with an empty clip, the empty clip is thrown, stunning hit enemies. Interesting. Um, this thing doesn't shoot any bullets. It doesn't fire bullets. Excuse me. I 
I've been scammed. I have been scammed. I don't quite know what's happened there. Ow. For some reason I just forgot that enemy type exploded. That was fun. Bucket. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to buy armor though, because I'm weak. I'm frail. Okay, keep it going. Also, also, just another thing. Um, there is a potential chance that I have some performance issues with this game. I'm noticing it's running at like 65 frames a second. I, I, I'm pretty sure normally it runs a lot higher frame rate than that. I've unfortunately had to um, downgrade my graphics driver uh, recently, which might be causing issues. Basically, um, the most recent graphics drivers just on AMD specifically, just completely fucking break Darkest Dungeon, and I want to start off my Darkest Dungeon series again, so I've had to downgrade my graphics drivers to be able to play it, because it just completely, like, the game runs at, like, 20 FPS if you don't, if you have the latest drivers, it's bizarre, but that is potentially causing other issues with other games, so you win some, you lose some, I guess, but we'll see. The fucking ghost's hitting me. That's such bullshit. It's my ghost. Don't make it hit me. Anger and confusion. And we get this thing, the diamond chamber. Mastery is worth double. A chamber made of pure gold. Um... This item. So I'm guessing plus one max HP when holding master rounds. Each item in your inventory that caught that has the word chamber gives a 20% damage up. Oh, damn. Okay. So it gave us a bunch more HP. Unfortunately, they aren't filled, which is a little bit upsetting because I very much need the HP right now. I don't know why the crescendo blaster shots are so small either. They're not normally this small. I think I broke everything again. There's a good chance I broke everything again. It seems to be like at least once a month I have a game breaking old time and oh for God's sake I got stuck in the doorway. Are you kidding me? Oh no no no. I need to turn off turbo mode. I I, I have to I have to admit. I'm just not enjoying the game anywhere near as much on turbo mode. I suck it. It's so hard. I thought it'd be a lot more fun, a bit of a challenge. It's too much of a challenge. I'm not good at the game anymore. I really am. <laughs> just not good at the game anymore at all. It's getting turned off in the next episode. The Eagle. Is this the TF2 launcher as the scout? What the hell's going on? This is bizarre. Do I have the TF2 launcher as the scout? I think I do. This is this is interesting. She's four rockets and one clip. Boy, these guns make even less sense than some of the ones native to the Gungeon. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, happy with that. It even has the right reload sounds and everything. Oh, this is precious. This is precious.
One second. One second. Right, sorry, I'm just starting out my lunch, seeing where I'm going for lunch. But yeah, I'm interested to use this rocket. Oh! No junkin, but... Oh, ho, ho, the sounds. Fuck! I only had one HP, I forgot! <laughs> oh my god, that was a tragic episode. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless. I need to get a lot better at this game. Before we do anything, let's go back to the breach and turn off turbo mode. It is kicking my ass, and I don't know why. I used to play this whole game with turbo mode on, but I think I basically had turbo mode off for like a year, and I just can't get used to it. I'm getting my ass handed to me. It's not good. It's not good at all. And I think it's as well because I'm not playing it regularly enough. I'm not... I, every single time I come back to Gungeon, I'm not used to it again. I kind of have to reset and re sort of relearn it and it's not it's not quick I'm not I'm not learning it quick enough and it's just it's not good. God damn the breach takes so long to load as well. Heck. Alright. Pick paradox. Just... Right. Turbo mode. Go away. Thank you. I needed that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode nonetheless. A little bit of a weird, wacky one. I can't believe I died with seven leaf clover, but there you go. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.